Okay, so we learned a little bit of how we see functions on a graph and how can we think about it in terms of vending machines. And now we're going to put it more into the mathy words, meaning we're going to learn some function notation. So uh, normally we tend to see anything like when I give you an equation, y equals x plus 5. So that's a function and you're used to seeing something like this. You always have a y equals and you have an x value and you're pretty good to go. So now, instead of saying y equals, we're going to change it up a little bit. We're going to use something we say f of x equals x plus 5. So all you have to know is f of x is kind of the same thing as saying y. So if sometimes for some reason you will get confused over it, you can always change it back to y. But we're going to be using this a lot more simply because it helps us understand functions in a, in a broader range. And you're going to see a lot of more of this in college and we're just going to be more fancy now. So we got to step up to the plate. Okay, so all it means is that this f of x means that it is a function. That's what this, the f stands for. It is a function with x values inside. That's why the x value is inside of the parentheses. So just like that function, the x plus 5, there's an x inside of it. So now let's try to actually use it. So let's say I give you the function f of x equals x plus 5. Oh, that's another thing I have to point out, how to pronounce it. So as you heard me say it, this is pronounced f, just the letter, of x. That's how it's pronounced. OK. So this is actually very important because I don't want to hear people saying fx. It makes me nuts. So we're going to make sure. I don't know why I did that. Why did I just block that out? That was weird. OK. All oh, right. Let's do that again. So that was an F. And that was a little line. That was green. And we're going to box the whole thing. There we go. Now you're acting smarty pants. All right. So we're going to put a star right next to it. Okay, so now let's actually use it. So let's start, basically this is like a problem that we're gonna be doing, an example. So let's say I give you f of x equals x plus five. And I tell you, evaluate, evaluate f of two. Now look what happened. Instead of that x that I had before, it became a two. So basically, that's exactly what you're going to do. Every time you see an x, you're going to put a 2. So instead of putting x plus 5, you're going to be putting 2 plus 5. And it gives me 7. That would be f of 2. And I can do that with multiple numbers. I can, do, I can tell you find f of 5, which just simply means let's plug in a 5 into every x that I see. So instead of x plus 5, it's going to be 5 plus 5, which gives me 10. So that's how we use it. That's why we need to put that different notation so we can tell the person that's doing it, hey, you're going to input this number, you're going to input that other number with a y equals. We really can't do that. Okay. So um, let's try maybe another one. Okay, so we're gonna try one now with a table because you see a bunch of tables in every place that you've seen. Um, okay, so let's say they give you a table and because your Y changed now and we don't call it Y anymore, your table is also gonna adapt to that. So you're gonna have an X value or an X section and then you have your F of X, which is technically like your Y. So if let's say they give you the number two, pairs up with the number five, the number three, pairs up with the number seven, the number four, pairs up with the number 10, 
five pairs up with 15, and six pairs up with 17. Okay. And let's say I give you a table and I tell you evaluate, similar as before, and I tell you evaluate f of four. So now, before we had an equation and we could just plug in the four, but remember, this is just an x value. So all I have to do is, well, they're asking me, what would my y value be if my x was a 4? And as you can see, my y value would be a 10. So all I have to do is say, well, f of 4 equals 10. Similar to other ones. So if I were to say f of 6, again, this is an x value. So you go to your table. See, okay, where's my x value of 6? Well, that one has a y value of 17. So f of 6 equals 17. And you're done. You're good to go. All right.